So first off, this is our kit that will allow you to upgrade your LS engine to half inch head studs. Now we've added an, a new add-on, a new tool that will allow you if you want to swap to an LT head. So if you've got a LS based engine and you want to put a Gen 5 LT head on it because it's got a better valve layout, better flowing head, you can do so with just one little add-on and do it at home. Yep. And what's the retail for the add-on tool? Uh, so to add the tool on to the, to the half inch head stud kit is, uh, it's gonna be about $190. Uh, and it's a custom tool that we're having made. Uh, we designed it ourselves. Uh, we went to a tooling company, said, hey, we want to make these. They made us a prototype. We, we did a couple of revisions to it. Um, and it's, it's very simple. Uh, follow the instructions and you can add dowel locations to any of the holes. You can add them to all of the holes. You can have every one of your head bolts uh, dowel if that's what you want to do. It's not something I recommend, but um, it'll allow you to move those dowel locations around and put the LT head on an LS block or LS head on an LT block, whichever one, whichever one you prefer. The camshafts are different, uh, so don't, you know, don't, don't go in thinking you can just put the head right on, but it is giving people the option to do it. Right on. And so that's really exciting. So if you've got an LS bottom end, but you want to take some junkyard LT heads, because um, right now I've, been, I've actually, you and I have kind of been playing with building a junkyard LT motor and looking about what's out there. And things are relatively cheap and the heads just work so much better. And Holly's got some great um, intakes for them if you want to convert it to a standard uh, standard fuel injection rather than messing with the DI. Correct. Um, so this is a really cool setup. So if you've got an LT bottom end and you want to put an LS on it, you can do that as well, but you might run into some piston valve clearance issues. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so the LT head, sorry, the LT piston itself will hit the, the LS head. It'll hit the chamber itself. Yeah, it's got uh, so, the, the funky yeah. But it would give you the ability to use an LT block with LS pistons in it and put the LS head on that block then. Yeah, right on. So you can still do a ton of stuff at home. And for anybody who al already has a half inch head stud kit, it's only a 190. Sorry, $190 add on. And if you want to just buy the kit with everything, you want to be able to do half inch your shop, you want to be able to do half inch upgrades. And LT swaps, everything. It's around it's around six hundred six hundred fifty dollars. I'll have to uh, add that onto the screen or something later. Yeah. But if you want to basically allow this kit to do a ton of different stuff, it's around six hundred fifty bucks. And if you really do the math, I mean that was part of the reason why we came out with the half inch head stud fixture to begin with. Because if you take one block to the machine shop, you're going to pay yeah around that anyway. Yeah, so guys were taking one block to the machine shop, having the work done one time, and they were paying the same, uh, and sometimes more depending on where you're at, than, yeah. <clears throat> than just buying our kit. Uh, so you can buy our kit, you can do yours, and then you can do 10 other people's and make you know, make money with it. I just did it on my own engine, partly because the machine shop that I'm working with is so slammed and busy, and I work with them on a lot of stuff, so I think uh, I'm kind of the low man on their priority list. Yeah. So the more I can do at home <laughs> to help them expedite the process, the better. So that's why I did it personally. So that's my first time, first-hand experience. I will say uh, it's a great workout for your arms doing a full LS engine. It can be, uh, yeah. But otherwise, it's an uh, awesome tool. Well, right on. Well, thank you guys so much, and thank you to PRI. We're really excited to be here at this show, and uh, we'll be back next year.